Chapter number 3, video number 5 is in front of you. Grade 6 it is. Science is the subject we are learning. And we have been learning about water as a natural resources. And we are going to learn about importance of water. What is that importance of water and what we will learn today? Yes importance of water we will learn so let's understand what is that importance in detail let's get into the subject very soon importance of water for human activities definitely water is very important not only for the existence of life but also for many human activities Think how many times you use water for different activities during the day. Now, you're using for many activities like drinking, like for agriculture, pouring water to the plants, and also your mother and yourself washing the clothes with the water. And you're bathing every day with the water. And most importantly, your electricity is coming from water. That is a hydroelectricity plant. Now, you know the fundamentals. Now, there is an assignment that is coming to you from the book says, find the uses of water and draw a picture or design a poster or prepare an album with a collection of photographs. That's going to be interesting. So, we're going to get some tips from the book itself. They're telling it for industries including agriculture. Like you can draw industries including agriculture where they are using water. It can be an album or the second for sanitary purposes, for cleaning purposes. What kind of cleaning purposes the water is used for everywhere the water they are using for the cleaning purposes, right? And for household activities. What kind of household activities require water? You can make a nice poster make some designs or make album on this for transportation water is used and for leisure water is used how many of you all have went to the water sports yes for water related sports definitely the water related sports Yes, you just saw how the water-related sports, fun it is. That's right. Okay, for to generate electricity also, you need water. Lovely. So, you can make beautiful album and it's going to be fun at home. You can do that one and enjoy. Now, I'm giving you some example for water transport. You see this one? The first one I'm pointing out is a big passenger ship that is going from one place to another place. That means in the sea from one country to another country or one continent to another continent it is traveling and the second one this is how the cargo ships are arriving that means all these big cargo ships are very huge and it is taking things from one country to another country and this is a small ferry that is crossing from one river band to another definitely the junction and these people are also using smaller boats to move from one place to another so it is it is a kind of water transport you can do such beautiful albums pasting picture from the internet now let's understand the importance of water for existence of life now that boy is really thirsty isn't it now when he hasn't got enough water what will happen yes he will suffer a person who is suffering from diarrhea has a risk of facing dehydration, may even face death. Oh, that is a very, very typical incident. Did you listen to that? When a person is suffering from diarrhea and if he is not taking water, what will happen? He will face death also. Now look at the, that plant. right? Also, if a plant doesn't get sufficient water, it gets withered. You see that? Okay, so you can now understand that water is a very essential factor for the existence of living beings, animals, plants, man, everything requires water. 
Now the ways how water is important. Let's understand that one. Okay. Now the first one to transport nutrients throughout the body. When you are taking food, when you are taking the food, like you are eating bread, you are eating rice, you are eating banana, you are eating chocolate or whatever you are eating, that will break into, yes, smaller form and it will go through the blood stream. But the water is helping to that. So to transport nutrients throughout the body, the water is required. When you don't have enough water, it will not transport. For plants to absorb minerals, when the minerals are in this in the soil, water is helping the minerals to absorb and go towards the plants for the rigidity of the plants. When the water is not received by these stems, what will happen? The rigidity will, will lose and the plants will become softer and it will fall down. So the water is very important for the plants. Not only that, for photosynthesis also, the water is a raw material. Water is very, very important for the photosynthesis, for the plants to make their food. And for cooling the body, you need water. If you are not drinking water, your body will not get cool. And as a medium of living habitat, the fish, so many fishes are living in the water, right? So that means that is a house for them. And the digestion of food, the food digestion is happening due to the water. So if you are not drinking enough water, the digestion will not happen properly. And as an excretory medium of animal, when you can't go to the toilet in the morning and when you are not enough water consuming person what will happen you won't be able to go to the toilet smoothly that's going to be a hectic day for you so if you want a smooth bowel movement you need water as an excretory medium of animal you need water you need a lot of water right so now we know that importance of the water and why we need water be understood very clearly. So I'm going to meet you in another session to talk further about the water. Until then, bye-bye. Take care of yourself.